Pistols are one of the more tricky and unique classes of weapons to complete, so if you're looking for specific tips, timestamps will be in the description below. There are 5 pistols in total to complete. The X16, or the Glock. The 1911. The 357, or the revolver. The M19. And the 50GS, otherwise known as a Deagle. The Renetti is not required for Platinum or Damascus, because it is a DLC gun. Here's the order I recommend for the best experience for completing the pistols. This is based on how much fun I had with the guns in order from least fun to most. If you're still having a hard time picking a pistol, here's a quick rundown of each gun. The Glock is a very basic, semi-automatic pistol that doesn't really blow you out of the water with any of its stats. The Glock is very balanced, only lacking in accuracy, being tied for the most inaccurate pistol with the 1911. The Glock challenges will go by quickly if you play a lot of Warzone, considering it's the base weapon you get in the standard Warzone mode. The 1911 is average pistol the gun, not having any stats that are too impressive. That being said, it's still a balanced gun, but its accuracy is tied for the worst with the Glock. This gun is still pretty lethal and stylish, being, in my opinion, one of the cleanest looking weapons in the game. It's just satisfying to use. The revolver is a 6 shot double action magnum that's the most accurate pistol and has the most range of the group. This comes with its disadvantages being the least mobile of the pistols with the slowest fire rate and the lowest shot count at 6. This pistol requires the user to make each shot count. The M19 is a semi-automatic pistol that takes advantage of its quick fire rate. Its fire rate, mobility, and control are the best out of the pistols, but it's held back by its damage output and range, so it's best to be used while playing fast and up close and personal. The Deagle is a semi-automatic handgun, probably the most well-known pistol for its striking appearance and the devastating amount of damage it can do. And that's reflected in its stats, having the highest damage output of the pistols. The only thing holding the Deagle back is that it is the most difficult pistol control with its high recoil. There's few better feelings in a shooter than doing well with a Deagle, and once you get the hang of it, it becomes one of the most fun weapons in the game. Here I've put together an easier to read stat sheet for the pistols and added a yellow dot displaying the best stat of the group with the white stat displaying the worst. If you need time to look this over, feel free to pause the video now. When it comes to the playstyle of the pistols, it's almost a combination of the other gun's playstyles. Borrowing the patience and the focus on accuracy from the snipers while having to play up close and use parts of the map to your advantage like a shotgun. Also rushing down enemies with an aggressive playstyle like some ARs and SMGs. When using the pistols, try only to ADS when the target is far away or you are unsure where the enemies may be. Hipfire is very good with the pistols when in short to medium ranges, but I would try to avoid it with the deagle and the revolver because it's more likely that you will die if you miss even a single shot. Try to stay out of big open areas if your pistol isn't built for long shots. Pistols have a lot of damage fall off at longer ranges, so try to stick to more clustered, close quarters areas of the maps. The maps that work the best for the pistols are of course going to be the smaller ones, like Shoot House and Shipman. But most of the time when I upload, the Shoot the Ship playlist gets taken out, so Domination and Headquarters are good game modes to grind camos on when Shoot the Ship isn't available. Just try to find lobbies with smaller maps. I say this for all the weapon classes, but it's especially true for the pistols. Hardcore is great for grinding. Pistols do significantly less damage than most other guns in the game, but in Hardcore, they're almost one-shot kills from shorter ranges, making the challenges easier to complete. Coupling this with perks and attachments like Akimbo and Snake Rounds makes pistols insanely good in Hardcore. Using Amped also helps when grinding on shipment, making it faster for you to switch to your pistol after spawning. Another good strat, better told in the wise words of Gaz. Switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Using your pistol as an emergency gun works, but getting camos will be slow. So do this if you want to work on two guns at once, or if you can't force yourself to only use a pistol. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to as many as I can. Also, if you have any tips that I haven't mentioned in this video, feel free to leave them there as well. Now into the camera. For spray paint, you need to get 250 kills. This is easy, 250 kills is a very light workload compared to other guns, so this should fly by. Difficulty? Easy. For woodland, you need to get 50 headshots. Headshots should be your main focus with pistols if you don't play hardcore, because it's more likely to kill in one shot. Crosshair placement and positioning will help a lot for this challenge, but it'll mostly come with time. Difficulty? 2006 Toyota Corolla. For digital, you need 40 crouching kills. Crouching will increase your accuracy a lot, but it's easily forgotten, so duck walking in a few games or crouching right before a kill will help unlock these challenges. Sliding is inconsistent on whether or not it'll count, so try to avoid it for this challenge. Difficulty? Fred. For dragon, you need 30 hip fire kills. Hip fire kills are easy schmeat when playing up close with the pistols. The lasers help a lot with this challenge, but 30 kills is nothing and shouldn't take too long. Difficulty? Simple. For Splinter, you need 30 long shot kills. Long shot kills are usually more difficult of a challenge with most guns, but for pistols, the range that counts as a long shot is shortened significantly, making long shots possible even on shipment. Just try to play further back than usual, maybe add a monolithic suppressor to help boost range while making the gun 10 times cooler to use. Difficulty? 007. For Topo, you need to get 25 double kills. Double kills are on the more difficult side of things, but playing maps where enemies tend to play close together makes this challenge a lot easier. As well as hip fire spamming with the faster pistols up close often leads to multiple kills. For the deagle and the revolver, getting comfortable with the timing of shots will help you a lot in situations to get double kills. Also, collaterals are possible with the pistol. Difficulty? 
half jump. For Tiger, you need 110 kilo with all attachments. This is easy shmeet. Build the gun around your playstyle and go ham. If you're having trouble finding a build that you like, here are a few of mine. Difficulty? Ron Jeremy. For stripes, you need to get 25 kills shortly after reloading. Pistols usually have a limited number of shots, so you'll be reloading a lot anyways. If you're still struggling with this challenge, sleight a hand in the good old shoot and reload before a fight trick works great for this challenge. Difficulty? Effortless. For reptile, you need 75 kills with no attachments. This challenge is really difficult considering how little damage some of these pistols do, so fast paced game modes on hardcore are your best bet for getting this challenge done. Weakening enemies with lethals or slowing them down with tacticals can also help. Difficulty? Toe knife. For skulls, you need to kill 3 enemies without dying 25 times. Playing patient and really getting a feel for your gun will make this challenge easier. But the fastest method I found for this is hardcore shipment. You'll slip and fall into so many kills the challenge will be over before you know it, unless you get spawn trap. If shipment isn't available, try playing it safe around the objective and kills will come to you. Difficulty? Decent. That's all the tips I have for completing the pistol challenges. If any of this helped you, leave a like. If not, dislike. Maybe even help a dude out and subscribe. We're really close to hitting 5,000 subs and it'll be really sick to hit that milestone. Also, if you have any video suggestions you want me to cover like a Warzone or a multiplayer guide or something entirely different, let me know in the comments below. One more announcement I made a Twitter and an Instagram. I'm going to be working toward being more active on these platforms, but for right now you can follow those for updates and sneak peeks at videos. And for the real ones that watch all the way to the end of the video, drop a shmeet in the comments below. Peace.